Hey everybody, Ben Fredrickson here for a spring training edition of Inside Pitch. In Fort Myers today, the Cardinals just wrapped up an exhibition tie with the Minnesota Twins. It's their final road trip of spring training. They actually count their exhibition games against the Cubs in Chicago as their second road trip. So the Cardinals will be back at home in Jupiter or really just bouncing between Jupiter or West Palm Beach for their final uh, Grapefruit League games before heading out west for those exhibition games against the Cubs, which will lead right into opening day at L.A. against the mighty Dodgers um, before going on to take on Mike Schilt's Padres. So we're getting close, about two weeks left in spring training, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the outfield competition. And Cardinals came to spring training with not really a lot of competition on paper. Then injuries started happening, and we still – don't quite know if Lars Newbar, if Tommy Edmond, when they'll be back and ready to help this team. We're going to get some sort of update on Tommy Edmond's status on Thursday back in Jupiter as they kind of look at his recovery and try to see what's next for him. Um, and the the thought is that Lars Newbar will be back before Tommy Edmond, um, but the signs are not pointing to him being back anytime in the immediate future just now. He's been tracking pitches. He's been standing in on pitchers throwing, watching those uh, pitches come in, but he's not swinging in live settings yet. Two guys who I think have really taken advantage of these opportunities so far this spring. One is a name that uh, got a chance last season and did some good things, but couldn't really carve out much of a lasting spot. Um, and the other is a guy who's never played above AAA. The first is Alec Burleson. Um, Alec Burleson is averaging 400 with a 567 slug so far this spring. He's done this through 30 at-bats. He's slimmer. He's playing better defense. He's showing a little more speed and has kind of trimmed up his body. I think that bodes well for what he might be able to do this season. And the other is Victor Scott, who has been really the spring sensation. This young man has not played ever at AAA, but there may be a chance that he just skips past it. He's averaging 367. He's got a 457 on base percentage so far this spring. He's getting to play a ton. And I thought Wednesday against the Twins was a big game for Victor Scott, not because it was as big as what he did on Tuesday against the Red Sox when he went three for three. But when you follow up that performance, you get a chance to be back in the lineup the very next day, hitting leadoff, and you start the game off with uh, with beating out an infield single and then breaking up what would have been a double play at second base. That's exactly what the Cardinals are looking to see from Victor Scott. So um, should mention, too, that Dylan Carlson hit his first home run of the spring from the left side against the Twins. So I think what you're seeing here are these outfielders – who maybe could, could see more playing time um, until Lars Newbar and Tommy Edmond get back. I think they're starting to turn it on a little bit here as these final two weeks of camp come to a close. Really, there's a chance for the Cardinals to take all of them. Um, if Edmond and Newbar start the season on the injured list, the Cardinals could possibly take Victor Scott. They could possibly take Tone Carlson along with Alec Burleson and have room for all those guys. It would just be who's going to get to play the most and who's going to get the most opportunity and where. So we'll keep an eye on that. Have more on Tommy Edmonds' status, I think, as early as tomorrow morning, hopefully. We'll also hear from Sonny Gray, who's going to throw a side session tomorrow after another kind of positive day back in Jupiter with a lot of the Cardinals veterans who didn't make this road trip. So keep it locked at stltoday.com for all of your Cardinals coverage. I'm Ben Fredrickson, and we'll talk to you soon.